Father, we love you. We praise you. Yeah. We thank you for this another opportunity you've given us yeah, to gather together around your word. Yes, thank you. Blessed are our eyes for the see you, Lord Jesus. Blessed are our ears for the hear your Holy Spirit. Yes, thank you. Our hearts are blessed. Our minds are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Speak to us tonight, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We decree we have ears that are here. We have hearing ears, Lord. We bind any distraction, any demonic spirit, and we try to hit the floor of the word. We curse you right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for your word, Lord. And we give you all the glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 My God, it's good to see everyone. Welcome, everyone, to Wednesday night Bible study. I encourage you to get your Bibles. My God, let's get into the word. All right, this is uh, part four of our teaching on what is the glory. And tonight we'll be discussing so to your spirit, bless so God. So to your spirit. So let's go to Ephesians 5, verse 25. Bless you, Father. Okay. Husbands, <laughs> love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. And gave himself for it. Bless God. Verse 26 says, That he might, verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. The church is always intended to be here at glorious. Yes. Glorious church. Not an ordinary church, not a normal church. It's a glorious church. Not have a spot or wrinkle, any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. A glorious church. And as we come to understand, everything about the kingdom of God is glorious. Mm -hmm. Everything is glorious. The administration is glorious. The gospel is glorious. The glorious church. The Father of glory. The Lord of glory. The Spirit of glory. Everything about the kingdom of God is glorious. Bless God. Let's go to Colossians 1, verse 25. Everything about the kingdom is glorious. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is here, Christ in you, what? The hope of glory. Not only is the glorious church, glorious gospel, Father of glory, Lord of glory, Spirit of glory, but also we saw in Hebrews that he's brought many sons unto glory. And he said, now if Christ is in you, he is what? Our hope of glory. Message of verse 27. He is our hope of glory. Yeah. God wanted everyone, as we saw this on Sunday, everyone, not just Jews, to know this rich and glorious secret inside and out, regardless of your background. God, good, your background don't matter. We all got a background. We all got a past. We all got some things we ain't too proud of back in the day. Bless God, regardless of their religious standing. Right. The mystery in a nutshell is just this. Christ is in you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you can look forward to sharing in God's glory. It's that simple. My God, this is the substance of our message. My, it's that simple. That God wants everyone, and whosoever will, everyone what? To partake and share in his glory. My yeah, God. Yeah. He wants us sharing in his glory. Mm -hmm. And we saw uh, Habakkuk 2 verse 14. In these last days, God says he, wants the, he says the whole earth shall be filled with the knowledge of his glory. The message translation says the earth shall is, is filling up with the awareness of his glory. That everywhere you go, people will be what? Aware of his glory. Yes. <laughs> They're aware of it. Not not religion, not doctrines, not 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 not, not the, 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 the the denomination creed. Man, whatever, whatever. They're gonna be aware of his glory. Yes. We thank God for all that. Yeah, we'll do what you do, bless God. But in these last days, people have to be what? Aware of his glory. Yes. So the aim of this series as we've been sharing is to whet your appetite and your desire for the glory. Bless God. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord, my God. All right, now let me see. We can go to Psalms 8. Go to Psalms 8. Psalms 8. All right, so we saw, we, we're talking about his glory. And we can understand that mankind was crowned with glory. It says, O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens, 
out of the mouth of babes and suckness that thou be stripped because of thy enemies, that thou might steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, that thou hast ordained, he said, What? What is man? What is this thing called man? That thou art mindful of him. And the son of man that thou visited him. And he says, For thou hast made him a little lord and angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. Mankind was crowned with glory and honor. Mm -hmm. That the same glory of that God lives in, the, the same glory that is God, it had, mankind was what? Crowned with it. Mm -hmm. That's how we're always intended to live in glory, my In yes. this place called glory, in this yes. place of honor. Yes. It's, it's an honor to be able to what? Live in his glory. Yeah. My God, Isaiah 43, verse 7, crowned with glory. Mm -hmm. We was crowned with glory. And we, of course, we know Adam fell, and, and once the glory left, man, life got hard. Uh, the, the things we're seeing in the earth today are results of gloryless living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a result of no glory. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing that's happening in the earth is because there's no glory in the earth. My mm -hmm. God. Everyone is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yeah, I have made him. We were created here for his glory. Yes. Yes, yes God. Created for the glory. Created for the glory. Psalm 73, verse 1. A little quick recap. We were all created, created for glory. Mm -hmm. Created living glory. It says, truly, truly, truly God is good. To Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Truly God is good. Give me the Amplified of that. Amplified says, truly God is what? Only good. We've been discussing that. The God is what? Only good. Mm -hmm. And we said that we saw we saw when Moses uh, said, show me your glory. God says, I'm going to cause all my what? My goodness to pass before you. It's all his what? His goodness. What is glory? It's heavy with everything good. What is glory? It's the manifestation of God's presence filled with everything good. My God, truly God is only good. Yes, he is. He's only good. He's only good. Yes. There's, I mean, there's no bad in him. There's no darkness in him. He ain't not trying to get you, my God. No. He ain't not out here trying to take your baby or, or kill your mama. That's not God, man. No. <laughs> He's only good. Only. And in Psalm 145, uh, turn around, 145 verse 9, Psalm 145 verse 4, Verse 9 says he's good to all. Yeah. So not only is he only good, but he's only good to all. He's only good to all. So the question a lot of people ask is, if God is only good, why do bad things happen? <laughs> or they say if God is only, if God is only good, why, 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 why do he allow things to happen? Why do you allow bad things to happen? Here's what you got to understand, man. We have an adversary yeah. who, as I shared on Sunday, hates your guts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does he hate you? Because you go to church? No. <laughs> because you know a few scriptures? Absolutely not. Why does Satan hate the saints? Isaiah 14, verse 12. Why does Satan hate you? Well, Pastor, he hates me because I, because I got a big Bible. Nope. He hates me, he hates you because... No, none of that, none of that. Why does Satan hate the saints? Why does he hate mankind, period? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground when thou didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in your heart, what did he say? I will ascend into heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I will exalt my throne above the stars of heaven. I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high God, oh my Lord. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Why does Satan hate the bearers of glory? Because he wants it. Why? He always wanted it. He had some of it. He lost it, my God. And now he hates all those who walk in it. My God, man. Right, right. Yeah. He don't hate you because of your house. No. <laughs> he don't hate you because of, because of none of that. He don't hate you because, he hates you because of the glory. All of this is about hearing the glory. glory yeah. I want to be 
you like the most about God? Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to sit in the, you know, the size of hell, him and heaven. I want to sit in the heaven. I want to do that. I want to. No, God said you can be brought down to hell. Mm -hmm. And so who does he hate? Those who are bearing the glory he so earnestly desires. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is all about the glory, man. Mm -hmm. This is all about those who are walking in God's glory. He hates you. Why? Because you're shining in the brightness of God's love and light and glory. My God, man. Yes. yes, Lord. Mm. All right. Bless God. So that, that's why he hates you. <laughs> Don't put yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want you to know why he hates you. I want you to think he's mad at you for no reason. Matthew 2 and verse 15. All right, so we saw Jesus come to the earth. We saw Jesus full of glory. We saw Jesus walking in that glory. And we see that the glory, what's the purpose of the glory? The purpose of the glory is it's the power to do good. It's the power of good. And we saw, it says, but when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from death, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. This is what happened when the glory is manifesting in the earth. It what healed them all. Yes, yes. Not some of them. He didn't go through again taking surveys or, or see if you qualify or see if you paid all your dues and, and none of that. Now, did you get your, your conference offerings? And none of that. My God. And I'm going to tell you some strange stuff going on in the earth right now. Oh, people are arguing and with it. I'm going to just say he healed them all. Bless God. All right. <laughs> Luke 4, verse 40 says, he healed all of them. They say, one by one, placed his hands on all of them. And so on Sunday, we asked the question, how was Jesus able to do this? Because of Luke 6, verse 17. Again, if you ever lay hands on someone, if you ever prayed for someone, a special multitude of people, or a great group of people, my God, it, 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 it takes something out of you. And he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people who out of all his near Jerusalem and from the sea of the coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to what? Touch him. They wanted to what? Touch him. Mm -hmm. For there went what? Virtue, say virtue. virtue. They went there, went what? Virtue, virtue out of him, and he healed them all. Mm -hmm. So everyone that was touching Jesus, what was going? It was virtue, what leaving from his body. Mm -hmm. My God, message version of uh, 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 verse nineteen. Virtue was leaving from him. Everyone was trying to touch him. So much energy surging from him. Good God. Mm -hmm. mm. So many people healed. I love it. So much what? Energy was what? Surging from him. Mm -hmm. He healed them all. Yeah. One had to go there, but Mark 5, when, 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 he, when he healed the woman with the issue of blood, they had the issue for 12 years, she, Jesus said, somebody touched me. They were like, how do you know somebody touched you? He said, for virtue has left me. Yeah. My God, man. Whew. Virtue has left me. Yeah. Uh, give me the uh, message translation there, verse 30. He says, at the same moment, Jesus felt energy, what? Discharging from him. Good God, man. Somebody's touched me. How do you know, Jesus? Because I felt energy. I felt power. I felt virtue. I felt glory. What? Leave from me. My God, man. And that's all we say on show about different kind of work. See, all mankind knows how to work in their body. So if you're not working a labor, a job of labor, or or or, or you ain't uh, physically, you can also say hitting some or picking up some or moving something or checking something. They don't understand that working in the spirit is a different kind of energy that leaves your body. You talking about sleep? Sundays after church? That's a wrap. <laughs> That's a that's because it's, it's it's a different kind of energy yes. that flows yes. out of you. Yes. How was Jesus able to heal them all? It lay hands on each one of them one by one because we said on Sunday he was living in overflow. Mm -hmm. How was he doing that? Mark one verse thirty two. How was he doing that? Okay, we saw this. We saw a day in the life of Jesus. He he, he was healing people and. Uh, 
He healed Peter's mother-in-law and casting out devils and and and, and matter of fact, and in the evening when the sun did set, they brought it to him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils. Verse 33 says, and all the city was gathered together at the door. Now we're not talking about a few people, they're all the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. And he healed many that were the sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. But he, he, Jesus knew the source of his energy. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed to a solitary place and did what? Prayed. Jesus knew the source, the, 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 the uh, 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 what was that, the, the charging station. My yeah. God, I hear that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jesus knew what the charging station was. Uh -huh. He said, I got to get away from everybody else before they get up, and I got to go, what, charged up for this, what, for this day that's coming. You know when your cell phone the day you gotta charge the thing up. Mm -hmm. You can't keep that keep using without putting it on the charger. Yeah. It's gonna run down, it's gonna die. My God. Jesus, I gotta get away. Why? I gotta go to my charging station. Um, yeah. A solitary place. And there he prayed. Yeah. Simon the day that were with him followed after him. My God. <laughs> and when they had found him, they said unto what all men seek for you. Mm -hmm. They're looking for you. What do you mean? What are they looking for? They got some people that need to be healed? They got some devils to be cast out. They got some people to be fed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, I got to make sure what I'm what thoroughly charged up before I go out there. Right, Let's right, go. Yeah. Yes. It's charging station. Yes. John three verse thirty four. All right. Now let's pick it up where we left off Sunday. Charging station. Let me make sure you stand it. Stay. Maybe they're sure you know what the charging station is now. Yes. Amen. All right. How was Jesus able to flow like he flowed? He was in overflow. For he whom God has sent speak of the word of God, talking about Jesus. For God giveth not the spirit by measuring in him. So on Sunday, we really didn't, we didn't get into it, but we started discussing that the, the glory is measurable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The glory is measurable. But it says right here that God didn't give the spirit to Jesus what? By measure. He didn't have the spirit by measure. Give me the amplifier today. Amplifier says, For since he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, proclaim God's own message. God does not give him his spirit sparingly or by measure, but boundless is the gift God makes of his spirit. Give me the uh, message of that. Message translation says, The one that God sent speaks God's words. And don't think he rations out the spirit in bits and pieces. Oh, God. He didn't give the spirit to Jesus in what? Bits and pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without measure. My God. Mm -hmm. Jesus walked what? In the fullness of God. Oh my yeah. Lord. Yeah. Amen. Mm. And so as we share on Sunday, we heard the week, uh, what was it, last week when we were doing the recordings. He said three things. Well, I'm going to share two tonight. <laughs> we share it on Sunday. First thing he said was, you are living in as much glory as you can handle. You have and are carrying as much glory as you desire. All right? You are living in as much glory as you can handle, and you have and are carrying as much glory as you desire. Mm. That's a value. Say the glory is measurable. Mark 4, verse 23. Let's go. How can you say the glory is measurable? He says, if any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Verse 24, he says, and he said unto them, take heed what you hear. With what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. Amplified, verse 23 says, If any man has ears to hear, let him be listening and let him perceive and comprehend. Hear it. Verse 24. He said unto them, Be careful what you are hearing. Hear it. The measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear will be the measure of virtue 
The same virtue Jesus said was flowing out of him. Mm -hmm. Will be the measure of virtue and knowledge that comes back to you. And more besides be given to you who hear. Mm -hmm. My God, man. Pastor, how can you say the glory is measurable? Because you are living in the measure of glory that you have measured out. Mm -hmm. He said what? The measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear mm -hmm. will be the measure of glory or virtue that is what? Given back to you. My yes. God, man. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. And it's not a mystery. My oh, God. Yeah. This is not the hidden. This is nothing secret. It's not way out yonder. He said the more thought and study you give to the truth you hear will be the measure of virtue and knowledge that comes back to you. Mm. So who determines the measure, preacher? You do. Mm. Oh my God, man. Give me, give me, give me the diagram 3B. So the question is, on Sunday, ask, well, what is your spiritual capacity here? What, 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 which, which cup are you? Hmm? Okay. Which one are you? Now, it all is, but it depends on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can be the first cup, or I can be the last cup. It's all about Sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm an iPhone person. <laughs> and iPhone 
phone gives you a weekly report mm -hmm. on how what you're doing with your time. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. I hope you this morning, it'll even show you how many times you can pick your phone up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called a weekly report. Mm -hmm. It'll show you how many time you've been spending on games. On entertainment and, and social networking and and, 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 and how much time you've been you know, uh, creating and how much time you've been uh, uh, how much productivity you've had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll give you a report to show you what you've been doing with your week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. gave us a weekly report. It's quiet in here, Lord. Yeah. Quiet on my own. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> what if the king on God every Friday or every Sunday says, here's your weekly report. Pull up diagram 3D. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Here's Jerry's. Here's Jerry's weekly report. Jerry spent forty hours at work this week. About twenty hours at at, uh, at what is family? About fifteen in entertainment. That's TV and. 15 hours of, you know, watching movies and, you know, on social media 10 hours and with 10 hours at the gym, 10 hours playing games. And I only spent five hours in the spirit. Mm. Mm. He didn't measure out much. The measure that you meet mm -hmm. will be the measure of virtue and, and, and knowledge that's what measured back to you. Mm -hmm. The glory is measurable. So you say, Pastor, I don't like the glory, the measure of glory of living in. You will have to what? You will have to meet out a greater yeah. measure. Yeah. My God, man. It's not mystery. It's not, it's not, it's not, ooh, it's not that. God is saying, you, 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 it's the measures, you're not giving me nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Lord, man. And to be honest, that five hours we gave Jay, that's greater than most people get doing in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Let's just be real about the thing, man. So the kingdom sent out a weekly re a weekly report. <laughs> so they send it out on Sunday and, and, and say the preacher say, well, I didn't have much glory this week. The kingdom will say, well, look at your report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I hear, man. Yeah. How much time were you in the spirit? Well, I ain't had a lot going on this week. Lord, I had this going on, I had that going on, I had to go here, I gotta do that, did this, got this, got family in town, got this, got that going on. Well, now you know why the measure was small. Because of what you what? Meet it out. Yeah. Amen. It's not a mystery, man. Mm -hmm. It's not a mystery. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 3, verse 14. So that's why we keep saying the enemy is trying to do all he can to what? Keep us so consumed with all this different. And none of that stuff was sin. None of it. None of it. None of it. I don't even go one step further. It's all good stuff. But a lot of these things are, are time consuming. Yes. And we'll suck time. And when God
God leaves his church in the last days, what? Yeah. Spending time in your spirit. Yeah. Measuring out more. Yeah. And, 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 why? So he can measure out a greater level of glory. What's available? For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory, the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ might dwell in your hearts by faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to come in with all the saints, what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge. What is available, my God, that we might be filled with all the fullness of God? Oh, oh my God. Yes. That's what's available. small measure <laughs> that you need is only going to give you back a small measure. When fullness is available, mm -hmm. give me the um, Amplified of verse 19. Give me the Amplified. I love the Amplified. It says, that you may really come to know practically through experience for yourself the love of Christ which far surpasses surpasses mere knowledge without experience, that you may be filled, hear it, through all your being unto all the fullness of God, may have the richest measure. Mm -hmm. May have the richest measure of the divine presence and become a body holy filled and flooded with God himself. My God! Yes. Oh, what is God saying? I want to give you what a richer measure. I want you to have the richest measure. Mm -hmm. Shh. Mm. That you might be a body, holy filled and flooded with God Himself. Good God. Mm -hmm. But life is a all these things are pulling at you and trying to get your attention in and keep you distracted. When God says, I want you flooded with me. Yeah. Yes. I need you flooded with me. My yes. God. Yes. Mm. My God. Lord, it's not a mystery. I gotta say it again. It's not spooky. It's not out there. It's not, it's not off in the distance. It's not off in the galaxies. He said, I need you flooded with me. How do, how do we get flooded with you, Lord? Give me a greater measure. Yeah. I need more of your time. I need more of you. I need more of you. I need you in my presence. Whew. My God. That you may have the richest measure. My God, man. Give me the message translation of verse 19. Please, please read. Message translation says, Live here, full life. Full. In the fullness of God. Are you serious? <laughs> Lisa, said live full life. Live full of what? Full of the fullness of God. Yes. Yes. Live full lives. <laughs> live full lives. Give me a diagram three. So, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What, 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 what's going on, man? Uh, e, E, three, see it? All right. We got two realms we have the ability to operate in. Mm -hmm. okay. In the natural, in the spirit. Mm -hmm. We have that ability to spend time in the natural. Mm -hmm. We have time, we have the ability to spend time where? In the spirit. Yeah. The enemy wants us spending all of our time in the natural, dealing with natural stuff. And, 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 and again, I'm not saying none of it's sin. 
ain't say that. I'm just saying this, this, this in this lower level. My God, yes. 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 When God is saying, for you to have the richest measure of my presence, I need you spending more time in the spirit. Yes. yes. Galat lead it there. Galatians 6 verse 7. So you gotta you gotta ask for more time in the spirit. In the spirit, in the spirit, in the spirit, in the spirit. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah. For he that sowed to his flesh, mm -hmm. natural, he that sowed to his flesh, in that natural realm of the flesh shall reap corruption. But he that sowed to the spirit, in the spirit shall reap what? The spirit of uh, re, uh, life everlasting. This is not a mystery. It's not spooky. It's not out there. It's not in the galaxies. It's not the universe. It's not over your head. He's telling you, based upon what you're sowing to, that's what you're going to read. Right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not rocket science. <laughs> and God wouldn't make it that way. Why? Because he wants everybody to understand it. It's based upon what you're giving your time to. Mm, yes. The most valuable thing you have is not your twenty dollars in your wallet. No, no. The most valuable thing you have is time. Yes. We're all time is ticking on all of us. Yes. My God. Yes. So when you take the time and give it to God, that's your greatest measure of worship. Yes. Amen. That's your greatest worship. My thirty dollars. No. Is when you give God yeah. that your time. Yeah, that's right. Amen. It's your time, Pastor. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. It's your time. Yes, yes, it is. It really is. Mm -hmm. And it's short. It's, my God. <laughs> it's your time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And he said, when you sow to the Spirit, mm -hmm. you shall reap life everlasting. Yes. That eternal life. That virtue, that glory, that 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 power, my God, that's where you reap from. Yeah. You reap by giving God your time yes. and yes. staying in His presence. My God, Amplified verse eight says, says, He who sows to his own flesh, I love this, the lower nature. Mm. Mm. It's a lower nature. If you're spending all your time in the lower nature, good God. Mm -hmm. Sensuality. We're from the flesh reap decay and ruin and destruction. But he who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. Put on the diaper and let from you. We can't now, now, now I'm not saying now I'm saying those things on that lower nature, there is they there some important things down there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah. you gotta know how to come up. And spend time in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said, I heard, oh, just meditating on it. He said, five minutes in the spirit is greater than five hours watching TV. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yeah. yes. My God, man. Uh -huh. <sighs> mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's when you spend time in the spirit that it helps you what's going on in the natural. Yes. 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 Without supernatural help. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. Mm. That's right. My God. We better go spend time in the spirit. We are spirit beings. That's right. We're yeah. going to be living and walking what? In the spirit. Yeah. In the spirit. He said in Galatians, in, he said, if you lay in the living the spirit, let us also what? Walk in the spirit. My God. Right. We are spirit beings. And you're not going to spend no time in the spirit? Mm. Good God. Mm -hmm. I get it on the boat. A Christian who doesn't spend time in his spirit is no different than a carnal man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not accessing. Mm -hmm. So you're stuck in his lower nature. My God. Bumping your head up against Satan's rules. My mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Jesus. Against his, his kingdom. You down here just trying to operate. It's, it's all this stuff down here. Yeah. That's why you couldn't get Jesus. She just said, you can't kill me. That's how I lay myself down. I, you can't do nothing with me. Why? He was spending so much time in the spirit. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, here we go down. Ephesians 5, 18. I don't know what we talked that we did. So, 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 it's not spooky. It's, 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 it's Simple. Yeah. What's the message you need? He said, "What? Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but what? Be filled with the Spirit. Yes. Be filled. Mm -hmm. Live a life what? Filled and full of, of and flooded with God. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now." I'm not saying none of that stuff. Again, none of that stuff is sin. Movies, I watch movies. Uh, TV series, I watch TV series. Sports, I watch sports. I'm not saying none of that stuff is sin. But there's a time when you got to know it's, it's time to cut that off. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. No, I hope amen. Mm -hmm. You got to know when enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And if you walk with the Spirit long enough, he'll tell you enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now cut it off now. Oh. <laughs> I, need you, I need some time. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the other day. You enjoy life. You say, give us the all things to enjoy. Mm -hmm. But you got to know when you, you got to know when you got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need some time in this person. I need to hear from him. Yeah. Yeah. God. Amen. And what how the song said, and, and the things of this world 
we come strangely dim <laughs> in the light of his glory and his grace. Are these things, my God, I remember when I first got to Satan and got to church, man, I used to leave church. I got to go watch the game. Man, I ain't fought in that game. It'll be on when I get done, bless God. Yeah. Why? Because in the light of his glory and grace? Yeah. That thing is them. That's them. Yeah. <laughs> that's, low, that's low nature stuff. Amen. That's low nature. When he has good life, he has high life, he has the best life available for us. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. He'll show you things to come. 
come bring to your remembrance things Jesus said. Yes. He should have with your comfort, your counsel, your strength, your adversary, adversary, your stand, I mean your, your intercessor, your standby, your advocate, your standby. Mm -hmm. The helper. My God, man. We need to spend more time in the spirit. <coughs> in the spirit. Bless you, Father. Sister one step. In the spirit. And you don't know the step. Six step in the spirit. And life is trying to do all this stuff at us. Yes, Lord. I need your attention. That's why they say, all men seek for you. That's life. Yes, Lord. All men looking for you. Spouse. The job looking for you. The, 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 they looking for you. <laughs> People looking for you. My God, what was Jesus doing? Why didn't look for him? He's were at in the spirit. Yes. The prophet showed we like last week and about, about about the father's business. Jesus, what are you looking for me for? <laughs>
So that perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. If that's you tonight, if you are the whosoever, <laughs> if you are the person that pass, I want this. Hey, hey, come on, let's that, hey, let's do it tonight. Let's develop the night. You don't have to do anything. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Not, none of that. He had, look, the glory and his spirit gonna come in and help you with all that. Yes. You just gotta give him your yes. Mm -hmm. And as Minister Green shared with us, you give him your yes. He'll take your mess. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yes. And you can't yeah. beat that with a stick, man. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. So you want to do that? You want to make that transition tonight? Let's go. <laughs> Just repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I, thank you I thank you for saving me. Saving me. <clears throat> for you saying your word. You say in your word. If I confess with my mouth, Jesus be my Lord. Jesus Jesus be my Lord. Be my Lord. And I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. God raised you from the dead. He said, I will be saved. I will be saved. So right now, Lord Jesus, right now, Lord Jesus, I ask you, be my Lord. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Take my life. Take my life. And do something with me. I receive you now. I receive you now. And I thank you. And I thank you for receiving me. And I ask you. And I Feel me. Feel me. With your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit. From the crown of my head. Yeah. The souls of my feet. Of my feet. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Welcome, Amen. welcome, welcome, Amen. In. Amen. welcome to the family. Amen. Welcome to the Christ. Amen. Welcome to the King of God. Amen. Welcome to glory living. My Amen. God, Amen. man. Yes. yes, Lord. Glory living. Yes. <laughs> welcome. And as always, we encourage you to get your good Bible or a good Bible out, my God, so you can find out who you are now that you are in Christ Jesus. You are now in Him. You are now righteous, saved, blessed, healed, delivered, restored, reconciled, forgiven, uh, chosen, accepted, anointed. My God, it goes on and on and on. You are complete in Him. So get you a good Bible, man, so you can find out what all those things mean. And ask the Lord to lead you to a good church home so you can go and get planted and, and rooted in the things of God, man. This is, this. I believe with all my heart, the church is about to rise up in these last days. And I believe all the earth should be aware and filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. And guess what? You are part of that. You are part of what is called the church, bless God. So we rejoice with you tonight, bless God. Yeah, yeah. Again, thank you for joining us tonight at this time. Anyone that desires to give, this is not a uh, this this is a free will offering. We're not going to no pressure, my God. God always supplies. This is an opportunity to sow into what you heard on tonight, bless God. So we we'll give you a few moments to, uh, to sow your seed. After which we'll come back and close out in prayer. Amen. 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 Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father.
or previously sown, we say thank you, bless yes, God. Thank you. We have people even that don't come to greet of us that they give us, bless yeah, God. Yeah. And we say thank you, thank my you. God. Yes. And we shout right now, grace, 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 grace to every household in this place and online. I decree that God has made all grace, every favor, every earthly blessing abound towards you in abundance. Mm -hmm. That you always having all sufficiency and all things may abound unto every good work. Mm -hmm. I decree the blessing of the Lord is upon you. Yes. Yes. The blessing is in you and on you and upon you. Everywhere you go, the blessing is working for you. Mm -hmm. I decree your family is blessed, yes. your finances, your health is blessed, your house is blessed. Children are blessed. Everything you put your hand to is blessed. In the name of Jesus. I decree the Lord is increasing you more and more, you and your children. I decree money coming to you easily, frequently, speedily, and abundantly. Supernatural checks, favor, debts canceled, promotion. Thank you for it, Father. And as we've been sharing, and we will continue to share, glory. Wealth is a part of the glory. It's all in there, man. Oh, my God. That's in there. The glorious church is supposed to be a prosperous church. Also, it's full of all good things. And we thank you for it, Lord. Anyone of these healing in their bodies right now, we shout grace, grace to your grace, body. Grace, yes. We call you healed. We call you whole. We bind every infirm spirit of infirmity, spirit of sicknesses and diseases. We curse you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you all sicknesses and all diseases. And by your stripes, we were healed. Therefore, we are healed. And we are healed right now from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. You say you desire of all things that we prosper and be in good health. I decree that we are prospering and we are in good health in the name of Jesus. Yes. You are healed. You are healed. And he healed them all, including you. Including you, my God. And we thank you for it, Father. And now I plead the blood of Jesus over us all from the crown of our heads to the souls of feet all the way around, ministry means that you can charge and camp around about us, protecting our spirit, our souls, our bodies from our hurt, harm, dangers, and accidents. For nothing and no one shall any means hurt us, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and nothing and no one shall any means hurt or harm our families, our children, our congregation, and no one's connected to us, bless God. We bind the spirit of uh, shooting and, and destruction. We curse it all right now. We decree it shall not come nigh us. We bind all these shootings in these cities right yes, now. The My God, we speak peace in yes, Jesus' name. Yes. In the name of Jesus.